Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Seven Days to Die in Project Zomboid. So today we're gonna playing a mod known as the Horde mod. This adds basically hordes every couple days. Um, we chose to make it seven days, just like Seven Days to Die. And uh, we also are playing in the West Point expansion mod. And uh, we spawned over here. We got this cool little tile inventory mod going on. Ooh, some spray cans and a box of sparklers. Okay. Uh, this spray can might come in handy, so we'll keep that noted. Um, we got our boy Chad here, Chad Gamer. This is what he's looking like right now. He's got a little bit overweight. Um, he's a construction worker, broken leg, uh, injured, deprived, a bunch of negative traits, anemic, high thirst, high food. Uh, but he's got a lot of positive traits. So starting off a little bit rough, but he is going to turn into the ultimate Giga Chad to kill these zombies. We have it set to this every seven days. Um, I think it starts at 20 zombies. Let's move these over here. Um, 20 zombies the first night, and it actually doubles every single night. So then 40, then 60, um, adds an extra 20 every week that we're doing. So first things first, we are going to turn on this TV, go through the motions of the first week, and try to prepare for the inevitable horde. Let's get this guy turned on, tune into life and living. There we go. I think it's already started, so that means it's probably around 6, I think. Is there any books we can read? No, uh, maybe. Tailoring, all right. We'll take this pen. We'll probably use that. So, yeah, we have this little inventory mod. It's called Tiles, I believe, and it's kind of like Tarkov. And I also turned on this mode where you have to search through, kind of just like Tarkov here. It adds a little bit of an extra step and extra immersion to the game. We're just going to go through this here. Actually, while we're doing that, we will get up and do a little exercising. Do some squats. Do some push-ups. There we go. Usually what I do is I just go through with all of these and I speed them up real quick. And then I usually sit for a little while to uh, regain my exertion here. There we go. We're getting a little thirsty. All right. Let's loop the rest of the house up here. That's outside. Oh, so we got a house directly next to us. That's going to come in handy. Another TV here. This is a nice looking... Oh, we got some friends already. Why don't we uh, get ready to take these guys out? Definitely use some shoes and some clothes. Can we get both of these on? Yep, there we go. Take these guys out. So far, this uh, scenery looks really cool. I haven't really looked at this mod too much. I was just on the uh, Project Zomboid website for the map to see what kind of cool spots we could build at and survive. I do want to build an actual place. Oh, we got a watch. Uh, I do want to build an actual... How do I... There we go. An actual base instead of living in one. So we'll start out with just a little spot. And then we'll uh, work our way into building something with carpentry. We got the watch here, so that is sweet. About 40 minutes until the uh, thing comes on. Ooh, two car keys. We'll take both of those. I hear someone smacking something, so let's get this stuff on quick. We're also playing with the Survivors mod, another cool mod that I think is great, especially until they actually implement it into the game. Having some NPCs to hang out with and uh, play is a lot nicer than just playing by yourself. There we go. Move these guys out of here. Okay. Got a little bit of a... Uh, Set up going with some clothes. See anything good in here? A screwdriver. I guess that's better than nothing, but we really need a weapon. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is we have to Ooh, look at that, boys. There's a Mustang and a pickup truck right there. What's the likelihood that one of those will have some fuel in it and be ready to operate? Oh, and we got a pistol, boys. We're off to a good start. Alright. Uh, what else we got in this nightstand? Anything else? Some more ammo. Oh, two pistols. All right. This one we'll just have to put in our, our hand. We'll put that in there. We need a bag of some sort. We really don't want to be popping shots off at the moment, but uh, it's nice to have a gun. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool. I was curious what that was. Cool thing about this tile mod is uh, all the new little symbols and emblems that you get to see. Some pants, some shoes. Use jacket. There we go. Look at that. Starting off good. I really like this scenery so far. I've only been in a house and a half. There's a pillow in case we have to strangle some zombies. What do we got here? A bag maybe? A guitar. All right. 
jacket, a shirt. Um, that one's full condition. How's ours? Oh, full. All right. So I might just use this for now. Um, this pistol is going to have to go somewhere. All right. We'll just have to come back for that. Remember that's there. Oh, what's going on there? We got the show back on, but I'm not sure what's going on. That's just another channel, I think. We'll sit here, tune in on to this. Um, the Magnum and the Deagle. Do a little bit of exercise and while we're waiting. The other way of holding the guitar by the, the cords. Is there anything good in any of these? Maybe a bag would be sweet. A tote bag, not, not really what I was envisioning, but I guess I didn't specify. We got the key for this Mustang. That's pretty sweet. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Either way, we could always stock it up with stuff. Got a sack. Let's hop in here, see if there's anything good. Oh, we got a Swiss Army knife. Bandage. Nice. Some twine. Definitely keep that. And the Swiss Army knife. I wonder if we'll be able to start it. No, I think it's too low on gas. Yeah. It's fine. We should be able to get some gas, though. Um, so we have this large house here. There's all these houses. We go to the second floor, which might be a really good idea, especially with these zombies here. Let's uh, take this guy out. Right, let's drop this. Oh, there's a couple over here, boys. Oh, this thing is very slow. All right. It's pretty strong, though. Oh yeah, very strong. Nice. Clunk. Clunk. Nice. Alright. Anything good on these guys? Clunk. Nice. Yeah, I like this guitar. It's just a little bit slow, so we have to pay attention to that. But other than that, it's pretty sweet. There we go. Come on, anybody else? Nice. Oh, she's not dead. Now she is. Sweet. Uh, let's loot these guys up. Ooh, we got some more. Wow. All the friends out today. Ooh, a digital watch. That'll be good for the alarms. All right, where'd that watch go? Let's equip that. All right, boys, we got all set up. We're looking like a spec ops agent now. I'm going to head upstairs, see what we can find up here. We got a couple minutes until the uh, next episode comes on. Let's tune this up real quick. I don't think there's going to be any zombies here, but we don't want to go too carefully or too uh, head first, because if there is, then it's kind of going to suck. Our guy's really nervous because uh, he hasn't had any ciggies in a while. Oh, we could have two fanny packs, boys. That's pretty sweet. All right. I didn't know you could do that. All right, boys. We just came down here a little bit to see what was going on, and we found a survivor. Survivor Russell. What's up, my man? Come on over here. You want to join my group? Nice. All right. Let's give this guy some good stuff. We have uh, this leather jacket. I think he has a leather jacket, actually. Let's go inside first. So we're not out here in the open. Oh, he's got a little vest, too. Let's see what he's got going on here. Uh... Oh, yeah. He's got a leather jacket. Some aviators. Nice. Duffel bag, tennis racket, vest, military boots. Nice. He's ready to go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Joseph. Oh, this man's got a gun. Joseph, come on over here, buddy. You want to be in my group? Nice. Finally got some boys. What about this guy? Yeah, so he's got a gun, a lot of boxes of ammo. Holy shit. Uh, we're going to have to give him a different weapon, so he is not slapping zombies with that. Let's give him the, uh, <laughs> the guitar. Yeah, we'll get him set up with that guitar. <laughs> there you go, boys. All right, so we got a little bit of a group going. Now all we got to do is uh, get ready. I think we have, uh, let's see, it's four days and 11 hours. So we got a little bit of time left still. Oh, boy, just pause it because there's another guy right here. What's up, man? Sweet. All right, we're getting kitted out, boys. Nice. Anybody else in the area before I go inside? Finally got them. Where are they at? Where are they at? There they are. We got some ciggies. 
came over here to this uh little shop down oh there's not much of a map but this little shop down here let's puff a nice smoky smoke there we go now a guy can finally rest might have to puff a few of them i know one was enough sweet Finish looting up this place. Really need a saw so we can start working on um on some uh carpentry stuff. A lot of candy. Found a bunch of new people too. We're just random running around. Um so we have a bunch of them at base, just kind of guarding and getting ready for the horde. We had about a day left. No extra loot here. Nobody else, just one down there. Alrighty boys, it's 940 on the seventh day. I believe in a minute or so it's gonna be the uh, horde, so we're gonna get some nice drink. We'll have a quick bite to eat. I sorted out some of the stuff down here. I had to switch back the uh the Tetris inventory mod just because it was a little bit of a pain, so we're gonna head outside. We got about ten minutes and there should be a horde coming. Pretty excited. We're preparing. Got some boys out here. Uh, I found a couple gas cans and filled up this guy, so he runs and drives. Needs some work, but it should be good. We'll have a quick puff before they get here. They should be coming any minute. Alright, boys, I did a little more tinkering. There we go. Nah, they should be coming. I heard a little zombie noise, too. Where are they at? I don't think we have any food on us. No, not really. So we'll be all right. We'll have a nice monsty before they uh they get here. Oh yeah, here they come, boys! Ooh, this guy's brought us a bag. Very nice of him. Take him out, boys. Nice. Definitely want his bag. Give me that duffel bag. Oh, there's a steak in here too. Not the kind of steak that you want. Boys, oh, this guy's got a bag. I want all the bags because I'm gonna be looting them all up and we'll be putting them to uh, oh, look at this guy. Um, in with the Mustang. So when we decide to travel off, first aid kit, when we travel off, we can just load those up and throw those all right in the back of the, the car. Oh, a meat cleaver. Nice. Come on, boys. Donk. Yeah, the only thing that sucks about this survivor's mod is sometimes they kind of just like fall over and do weird shit. So I don't know what's up with that. Nothing really crazy here. I kind of want the medical jacket. It's pretty cool looking. Where's everyone else at? That guy's moving the corpse around. That's good. At least he's doing something. Not seeing too many more. I think we have a set to 20, 20 zombies. Yeah, nobody else really in the area, huh? That's odd. Oh, there goes one. He ran into one of these vehicles, but maybe that horn will bring some more. Yeah, they'll, they'll take him down. He looks like he was cooking. Here they come. Come on, boys. Can I shoot this girl through the window? Nice. we we'll have a little puff. Oh, there's another one down here. We got a couple here, boys, but I don't know why it just didn't spawn weird. I think it has something to do with it just not spawning in general. Let's give this guy a nice pop. Get to play with our uh, pistol a little bit. Yeah, here comes a couple. Yeah, nothing too crazy out of these guys. Those bags were nice. Oh, look at that. Patricia, come here, Patricia. You want to be a friend? Oh, we got a couple zombies with her too. Nice. All right. Let's take them out. Ooh. That was a fail. Good job. What's her name? Patricia. Oh, she just randomly fell. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they do that sometimes. Another zombie coming. Yeah, it looks like it's probably it, boys. Well, I mean, I guess there's about 20 there. They just didn't really uh, come after us like I thought they would. There's these guys down here. If I didn't have any more ammo, I'd shoot him up. Actually, I wonder if I do have ammo. No, I think I put all the ammo away. I want to try the steak. Is it any good? Was it like a little kitchen knife? Oh, yeah, a little kitchen knife. Ooh, the way I juke him, too. Look at it. Dunk. 
All right. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Ooh, a multi dad I'll take that. No, well, it looks like it's it, boys. We, I guess, survived the first horde night. It was, I guess, what was that? Just about 20 of them. So, yeah, maybe we should do a little bit more. Maybe we'll do 30. Oh, actually, no, next next time it'll be a 40 because of the increased. I just have to fix up the settings, and then we should be good. Yeah, not too bad so far, boys. I think that was pretty cool. I liked a little bit more, but I guess it's good that it started out slow. Um, going to continue to kind of get everything situated organized and hopefully load up the car and find a nice spot to set up camp and build up build a nice little uh, fort with all the boys this is the week two of our seven days to die horde playthrough um today we mainly need to focus on getting some of this loot organized so we can head off to a new area uh that's what we're doing for this week and maybe see what else we can find if we can find any more valuables. We did find this military bag recently. Actually, I think it's off this woman right here. Yeah, because I think I took her fire. I don't know if she had fire stuff or camo stuff, but a bunch of good stuff. Just stroll up to the door with a military bag on, so I'm not complaining. Um, other than that, not too much going on at the moment. We organized a little bit of stuff. Um, we also did have to get rid of the Tetris mod. It was just kind of a... It was nice, but it was a little bit of a uh, pain in the butt. Um, we finally got our... Our leg healed up, so that is definitely nice. We can finally move a little bit. We can jog. We can run all that good stuff, and I think that's pretty much it so far. I do want to get some of the city looted. Now that we have a larger bag. We have uh, Declan and Kirsten. I don't know why it always does that because there's no zombies here. I think it might be because of survivors, but um, we have them with us. We're going to kind of suit them up and get them ready to do some killing with me. I think they'll be my two, my two uh, scouting partners. Um, so yeah, we will look around see if we can find anything good. I want to see if we can get, oh, we only, we have 50% fatigue already. Shit. We should have, uh, took a nap. Um, I do want to see if I can find another, maybe a vehicle I can tow with a Mustang so we can load that up with loots. There is one down here. Um, ooh, I don't know what the map's doing. Um, there is one down at that area, but I think it needs some gas. Maybe. Or maybe it's a two-seater. Something something about it I didn't like. But we do need to find a large enough vehicle to take everyone with us. Um, I had an idea about why the... I think I have an idea why the zombies aren't really around this area. Because this is like an expansion, I believe, in West Point. Um, a mod. I think that's why there's really not a lot of zombies. Because I think originally this area is supposed to be forced. We'll take the twine. I'm going to look up the map real quick. Like, this is all basically empty. So, I think it's supposed to be forest. That's probably why there's no zombies, really. Um, but I also have this weird issue. I don't know if anybody else has had, had it before. If you guys let me know if there's a fix or what it could be. Um, I generally like to use the control to, like, click on things and see how it kind of just goes away after a while. I'm still holding control. I'm not sure if it kind of just glitches out or what, but... Uh, it's kind of annoying when I'm trying to select a bunch of stuff and it kind of just auto deselects it. If anybody has any ideas what that could be, let me know. I would much appreciate that. Uh, I think it might be one of the settings for like keybinds or... I'm not sh really sure, but it is very annoying. We're going to loot up the rest of this area. It's an uncooked rat. We'll take that one. Oh, lettuce seeds. That's very good. We found a few packets for seeds, so we definitely want to get that situated when we can. When we get a base going. Uh, I'll take all that stuff. I think we have a perk that gives us like extra food found in garbages and stuff because we're getting a lot of rats and cockroaches. There's a bunch of zombies right there too. Must be another survivor nearby. That could also have something to do with it. The survivors, I know they kill a lot, but I wouldn't think it would be this barren, you know what I mean? Come here, boys. Ooh, a police officer. Hey, buddy. I want that, that uniform. Thank you. All right, let's give me all that goodies. They'll take all that. I think I might give that to one of these guys. This guy's got a leather jacket. That usually comes in handy. Is that a choker? Okay, it's a little bit strange. I've also been working on our leather working um not leather working tailoring skills so we can patch up all our clothes with some extra padding uh there's a burger place here anything open knock knock 
Come on, boys. Here they come. Come on, boys. You have to be careful because sometimes with the survivors, they like to like run past you and trip you. Like almost looks like it's intentional. I don't think it is intentional, but um, you can very easily get caught up because they kind of like bug out for whatever reason. I think they kind of just run away from the zombie and end up kind of tweaking. All right, now they're finally out. Let's give them some claw burn. There we go. Nice and quiet. Ooh, we got some cigarettes as well. That is going to be nice. Rip up all this goodies. All right, sweet. I think we'll loot up this place. Then we'll loot up the place next door. Ooh, fresh. Nice. We get all the fresh food out of here. Get it all into the uh, storage, into the freezer. Yeah, there's a bunch of crates right here. Ooh, lots of goodies too. A candy cane. Is this a weapon? Oh, okay. Uh, take all that. Yeah. Those packets and seeds and everything, um, not the, the sacks, I mean, will probably come in handy when I'm making, um, like, stuff. Ooh, fresh burrito. Why don't we munch on that when I'm making, um, what's that stuff called? Fertilizer. There we go. That's the word. Fertilizer for everything. Ooh, this is all fresh because that's in the fridge. We'll take that right away. I think after we loot this place, we'll actually just head back to base. We can deposit all the fresh stuff into the fridge. And then we can grab a night's sleep before we come back out. Found a sledgehammer and a generator. We got this little trolley here. It's loading up. We had some hand trucks. Sweet. All the goods. This little store. I thought this was a grocery store. And then I came in here. I was like, oh, well, this is all like equipment type stuff. Sweet. Lots of seed packets. We'll take all those. Ooh, a machete and another hand axe. We also found another crowbar. Uh, lots of goodies in here, boys. Alrighty guys, this day 14, we are uh, here getting ready to uh, fight the horde. I think it's in the next hour. We're just gonna get ready. Uh, we actually ended up moving a bunch of our stuff up here. I think this is gonna be where we base up all the way up here from down here um, next to the water, which is, should be great for the winter. A lot of area for trees and everything like that. We also changed up some stuff. We had to get rid of the superb survivors mod, but we got the like an altered one by another modder which is gonna be cool we're gonna get those guys to the probably after the horde here we also took out a couple of the um random mods that just had in them for a long time like there's a backpack overhaul one because the authentic z mod that we use has these upgradable backpacks which is awesome and i had the mod on but i didn't realize i had the wrong one on so um yeah so i have all these different slots now which is sweet i have my flashlight i just press f it turns it on and off that's sweet um, we got found a couple of these ammo belts, and we combined this ammo something with a pouch, and so now it's like this whole thing. Um, we got a fanny pack all set up. All kinds of cool stuff. Poor you is coming over to say hi. Hi, buddy. I think there's a zombie nearby somewhere. There we go, boys. Finally. All right. So it's the 23rd, 10 p.m., and we got the zombies coming. The horde. Let's take them out. Where are they at? There they come. Probably want to fight in this area here on this uh, parking area just so we don't have to worry about trees as well as we keep them all in one spot. Donk. Oh, this guy's got this cool little jacket on. Nice. Oh, wait, here they come, boys. Oh, look at this little elf looking guy. That's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of nakeds, too. Oh no, Becky, don't die already. Oh my god, she's going to town. Look at her go. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, she might be getting overrun here. Oh no, she's she's destroying them with a little hand axe. Holy shit. I took the uh, wood axe for myself, so I cut down the trees, but jeez, she's good. Oh, I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry, I got you. Let's watch my six. Oh, it's so much better than the other one too because the regular mod the survivors will like sprint into you and run past you and they'll get like the trip you right into the zombies and you'll just end up getting cut this woman actually 
Helps. Ooh, a survival knife. We'll take that. Uh, some aprons. That's pretty cool. Anything else down here that we want? There's some bunny ears. That's pretty sweet. Baseball shirt. Gigamar waistcoat. Jacket. Bunny tail. That's all part of the Authentic Z mod. Pretty cool little mod there. Adds a bunch of different custom zombie uh, uniforms and everything. Ooh, bullets in the holster. We'll take those. Oh, one was a military guy. Nice. All right, we'll take all that then. Oh, look at this guy. Spiky boy. Look like at porcupine. Yeah, anything else? Some long gloves, a toothbrush. Green Santa hat. Let's take all the Santa stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Long gloves. Chef jacket, bathrobe. Pretty sweet. A shower cap. All right. Look at this guy. Nothing on him. Turn our flashlight on. That might be it. There's a few over here. Come on, boys. Oh, yeah, there they all are. They're all hiding. They're scared. They should have a little counter when uh, when you have the horde mode. That'd be a pretty cool addition. Oh, my this girl's got her guts hanging out. Yeah, let's get him, Becky. Nice. Got your back. There's a boxer and a baseball guy. That's cool. Yeah, see all these cool costumes that they have with this uh, authentic Z mod. Pretty cool mod, one of my favorites. Boston gloves and fingerless gloves. Military boots, we'll definitely take those. Alright, we took those boys out. Is there anybody else? That might be it. I don't know how long the uh, thing goes. Sounds like I hear somebody. Nope, there we go. We survived. Nice, boys. That is our second horde down. This one actually was a little bit of a horde. But dang, Becky just destroyed them. All with that little axe that she's got. Look at that little thing. Oh, uh, yeah. So, not too bad. We're going to clean up all these corpses. Uh, see if we can find some more workers. So, we get these guys cleared up. Uh, we need to start building a little bit. And then we're going to get some survival essentials going. And it'll be a nice little base. Hey boys, the horde should be here any minute. I think at 10 p.m. it comes in. Got a few new survivor friends here. A little bit of the farm going. Um, we got some extra vehicles. We got a bunch of bags here with a little bit of organization. Um, some crates and stuff. And I'll show you the inside, but I think the horde's about to start. Here they come, boys. Oh, Angus over there. He's not doing so good. Come on, boys. Picked up this fire axe. I wanted to learn this uh, skill a little bit. Set up the crowbar. Uh oh. Oh my god, he just mauled him. He got a bag right here. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Arch backpack and some leather gloves. Nice. Get Reese over here popping shots. Ooh, it has met zombie. Nice. Maybe I should have a little fun with some guns. Good time to train. Get him, Reese. Get him, Reese. Got you, bud. There we go. Throw all my shells, too, so I can reload those. And that might be it, boys. There's a couple stragglers here and there, but nobody too much. Ooh, there's a military guy over here. I want to take his stuff.
Looks like we might have taken them all out. Another successful horde night. Got all the boys. I want to get some of these guys uh, to organize these bodies. Get Lewis here. I right, got them set up to pile some bodies for me, so they should be able to organize that. And I think that might have been the Horde Knight. Oh, there's a bunch over here. We can take these guys out. <laughs> here they come, boys. Well, boys that was the uh, third horde down without any issues once again we've been ripping through them um other than that we're going to be finishing up with some base work oh i think that might be a new person actually look at that oh come on over it leslie we got our little base on the works we got some farming stuff going got bodies hitting the floor um we're on 26 this 26th day i think yep and eight, 18 hours so we're almost on the next horde here uh, i'm going to invite this person on to the group sweet we got another follower we did just lose our uh, military man. I forget what his name was already. <laughs> kind of bad of me, but um, yeah. So we're just going to be basically finishing up some of this base work. We organized some stuff here so far. Give you guys a little tour. We got the Mustang parked. I expanded this wood area here, a little bit of a platform. The base here, I'm going to work on filling in this roof, taking out this roof. I need to get my carbon trip a little bit more. Found another fridge. We got a grill set up. There's a little bit of the inside. Got some gun stuff over here. A little bit of spot to hang out and sleep. Some food, some food. Uh, we got a little cart here as well. So yeah, we're not doing too bad so far. I had our clothes taken off so we can uh, wash them and not be so weighed down. So yeah, not too bad so far. We got our boy Gabriel, Father Gabriel. I actually want to change his name. There we go. We got him hanging out over here, you know, watching guard over everything. We got a couple of these other guys. I think these are on body duty, getting rid of all the corpses and a couple of guards. So yeah, doing pretty good so far. Uh, we do need to get the carpentry up. Let's take a look at the skills. We're almost there. Very close. Get that. We should be able to make the stairs so we can make the roof and finish up the house. And then we can work on maybe making a wall. So that's what we're going to work on this episode.
Alrighty, boys, so we were making some little decisions over here. I like this little house, but for some reason it's like bugged out and it's kind of bothering me. I was thinking about building this spot out here, which I spent a lot of wood doing, and then I was like, hey, you know what? I don't really like this area, so I found this spot down here um, that is nice and open right over here, right off this driveway. We'll have a nice road we can make, and we can make a huge fortress, which is going to be a lot better than what I got going on here. We're going to have different sections and stuff like that, so I'm going to grab up all this wood I've been chopping, chop up basically all these trees that we can, and we're just going to bring these all down there. We've got Denise back here with us, and uh, we'll be able to load everything up in the truck. Alrighty, boys, we got our carpentry up pretty high. We did a little bit of farming as well. We have the book for the farming, but we don't have a carpentry book. So I'm going to drop some of this stuff off here. We need to repair this as well. And uh, we're going to go look for some books. We got decked out in some new gear, some am uh, military camo pants, and some boots. We got Father Gabriel. We're going to go do some killing and looting. Hopefully we can find some uh, books that we'll need. Tarzan, you're in my way, buddy. You guys can't see Tarzan's here. Dang, there he is. He's hanging out with us. We cleared out pretty much all of these trees. We we're just chopping for quite a while, and then we had everybody behind us just picking it all up, basically. I'm gonna check out this purple building. I'm not sure what it is, if it's like a school or an office building, but I'm hoping there's some literature and some books. It might be a school. That might be good. Yeah, here, you little rat. Get him, Gabriel. Oh, no, Gabriel. Got you, bro. Get here. Nice. Dang, look at him. He's ready to rock. Probably gonna get all kinds of cool stuff. It's a varsity jacket. Come on, boys. Let's go get him. Look at this boy. He just got out of gym class. Gabriel, the door's open, but... Oh yeah, my guy's not doing so good. I took some painkillers, but it didn't seem to do too much. Uh, let's take some more, I guess. Alright, boys. Gabriel don't know how to walk to the other door, so we gotta unbarricade this. Come on, Gabriel. Killing me, man. Alright. Let's see what else we got. We actually will take all this. We're gonna need that for our new base. Put this away. Put this away. Got one of these water things over here. That'd probably be a good idea to grab eventually. Another fridge, too. Sweet. Oh, the ice cream, nice. We'll eat one of those. We'll, uh, fill everything up here. Have a drink. Right, we gotta find the library. I'm not really worried about this other stuff as a waste. It's a medical area. That might be good. Oh yeah, let's take all this stuff. Grab that. Uh, garbage bag, nice. Grab these scissors too, because I'm not sure if we have any extra ones. There we go. The little army cot is pretty cool. I might get that for the uh, little area I build for the survivors. Oh, there we go, boys. That's what I'm looking for. Got right, we got a farming guide. Oh, that's going to be good. All right. Carpentry. Well, there we go. We need that. Level four. Read that real quick. Uh-oh. Got him, Gabriel. Got him, but there you go. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, angler. That's for fishing, I think. Yep. Oh, a net. That's going to be good. Uh, strip meat from corpse. Okay. Farming magazine. Okay, there's a key here. I'm not sure what it's for, but we'll grab it. It's a cheerleader uniform. Zombie hitless. Oh, I think that's pretty cool. Actually, we'll take that. Metal work. That's good. We have to work on metal working soon, too. Nothing there. This little mod is awesome. It shows you all the uh, things. Oh, yeah. Here's two more right here. It shows you all the books you've seen, read, and everything. Ooh, another zombie hitless. We'll take all those. Those will be good to collect. Sweet boys, what a nice little spot. It's close. Um, we got that. I think the only thing that we need now would probably be the next level once we get to these. I gotta get to level seven so I can build the nicer looking walls. So I'm gonna finish the outer edge of the base with the log walls, and then we'll uh set up the 
walls for the house. Hey, Gabriel. Hey, one more, buddy. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Ooh, there's some vending machines. I'd like to take these eventually, too. I don't think I'll be able to hold these. They're probably too heavy. 25. Okay. Let's grab that one. I don't think I'll be able to grab... Oh, we might be able to grab two of them. There's a zombie coming. 25. Yeah, a little bit high. Let's drop uh, some of this stuff into this bag here. Oh, no, it is 25. Okay, I guess we'll... Uh, Drop this one down then. Grab all this stuff. Uh oh. What the hell's going on over there, boys? There, so we get all that stuff. What is he what's he doing down here? Is he alright? Yeah, he's alright. He's just been a little bit strange. Um nothing else over here is a high end camera, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, walkie talkie that might be a cool prop. All right, we're gonna head back over to uh, our new spot, finish the uh, wall and everything, so we get the carpentry up. Alrighty, boys, it's just about that time. Excuse my voice, I'm a little bit nasally. The allergies killing me today. Um, I'm gonna eat a little bit of food before we get started with the zombies. The horde is on the way. I think we, I think it's ten o'clock. I believe. We we'll have a little bit of this food. We're gonna do the new new base here today. Um, I'll show you guys what's going on so far. Here we go. We got a little bit of food. I might want to grab another weapon or maybe repair this one because it's not doing too good right now. Um, let's see. I think I have another axe somewhere. I like the axe. The axe is pretty powerful. We also have this crowbar. We'll take that just in case. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep that just in case. Maybe we'll just use that today because I don't want to destroy my axe. It's already pretty smacked up. So we'll put that on the back. And then we'll just unequip this. Pop that in our bag. Oh, bag is full. Oh, because we got a sledgehammer in there. Okay. Oh, we also need to get some more screws. Uh, not screws, nails to finish our base. Yeah, we got two boxes. That's it. Wow. We're going to have to find some more of those then soon. We have to go on some trips. I tried to get some gas, as you'll see in some of the footage I'll play here. Um, but we really got overrun very quickly. So let's... Uh, actually, I'm just going to walk there. All right. Um... But anyways, we were trying to get some gas, but we just we were just overrun so much that we just weren't able to. Um, but this is what we're looking at so far. We got a little bit of a wall. We got the farm area. Um, we're going to have a road here and probably a few vehicles here. Um, this is going to be the garage. And then we also have this wall, which is going to extend all the way to the water on each side. And we'll make a little dock so we can fish and stuff. I put these vending machines down just because I don't want them in the way. And then uh, it's going to be back here. It's going to be our house. So we're going to get this uh, finished up. We should be able to do a little bit of work until the zombies come. Um, let's make this one a window. Oops. There we go. Get ready, boys. There we go. Sweet. All right. It's starting to work, work now, finally. Here they come. 
I wonder if we should maybe start popping some shots. It'll probably be bad. So we're going to draw a lot more. But we have all the boys with us. So that'll be good. Let's just go right, right into it. This crowbar ain't doing so good. Yeah, it's a little bit weak. I might switch the axe then later. The nice thing about the crowbar is it doesn't damage it close. So like those pants I might pick up. I like these uh, digital camo ones I have now, the snow ones, but the hat doesn't match, which kind of sucks. Oh boys, we're getting surrounded. Oh, look at that. That's a cool hat. I might take the hat too. Yeah, boys, here they come. Let's get over here closer to the wall. Get some of these boys here to help us out. Oh, we gotta have a smoke break, of course. Oh, yeah, they're over there taking them out. Yeah, boys, here they come. Alright. Uh oh. A person just gonna start and get bit or what? Yeah, I think we might switch uh, back to the axe now. We need the extra damage. Uh, where did I put? There it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Just slapping him. Ooh, that was close. Boys, a hand. We're probably just going to have to kite him all the way around the base all night long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's dead. Darla is about to die. I think we're going to have to bust out the shotgun. At least we finally got some accuracy with this this thing. Uh, let's light this boy up. At least we could see a little bit. Oh yeah, he's going down, boys. Oh man. It might just be us standing after this is done. Oh, we don't got no more ammo? Uh, that's not good. Picking that up. Come on, boys, over here. Get away from my house. Uh oh. Boys, over here. Oh, here they all come. We're going to need like an LMG for these. Holy shit. Maybe I should have started with Brita's, because there's just so many zombies. We got a little bit more for aiming, that's good. Yeah, look them up. Oh, they're breaking down the walls. Ooh, 
Ooh, at least we got some in the shotgun right there. Another shotgun. And the officer. Why is the guy not reloading? Is it broken? Is it jammed? Do I just not have ammo? Yeah, that must have been the one it is. That's weird. Guns jamming like crazy. That or it's just because I'm moving, it's maybe just not cocking it. how bad it's going to be on the inside, boys. Got quite the body pile out here. We're about inside. She's doing good. Oh, that boy's almost dead. Oh, I got you. Angus, come on, boys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, Lewis is fucking slapping him. Holy shit. Lewis, you can do it, bro. I got you. Oh my god, this boy's come back from the dead almost. Oh, well, that's a big fucker. Holy shit. Holy shit, get out of here. Oh, here they come, boys. I don't know how much ammo I got left because this only shows two here. Yeah. All right, we're going to hold off on that then for now. We'll use this pistol a little bit. Oh, this nice deagle. A beautiful gun. Oh, wow, we just popped it off. Anybody else? I hear a lot. I'm sure there's probably a lot more somewhere out here. Wow, they fucking murdered those guys. Where's everyone else at? Probably all the way out here. On the other side of this wall. Oh, here's people in my house. What are you doing in my house, bro? A little quieter. I wonder what uh, what's outside. Probably quite a few boys. You know what? Let's loot that. Uh, oh, this guy right there too. Let's loot the cop real quick before we forget. Uh, it sounds like it's pretty quiet though, boys. We, uh, I mean, I survived. The rest of the team not so much, which kind of sucks. What's this guy got? Oh, nice. Why don't I take this for uh, our team? We're gonna have to just gear him up like crazy because. Only a few people are left. Angus, I'm coming, boys. Oh, yeah, they're just blasting through these walls. I don't know why I don't just go around the walls. I might have to just kid everyone out with guns for the uh, the horde. This is just too many of them to be running around and uh, melee in. But it looks like we might have made it. Another officer down. Is this uh, ours? Nah, just a regular officer. I'm going to put all this stuff on the ground though, so I come back for it later. Sheesh. Well, we got quite the few bodies to uh, dispose of. We got Lewis over here looking like Rambo. Holy shit. We're going to have to deck him out then because he's, he's fucking zooming. And that, there's the aftermath, boys. <laughs> the base is a little bit mangled. We got Angus as well, Lorna. I think that's just only three left. Everybody else is uh, KIA. Let's see. Yeah, wow. Sheesh, just the four of us, boys. Well, that is the, uh, what is that? The fourth, fifth horde? Uh, month? Yeah, about five to eight, five, probably. 
because uh, I know there's a little bit discrepancies from uh, getting it set up. But yeah, not too bad. We uh, we survived. The team is going to have to be in a improved a little bit. We're going to have to get all these bodies in. A, we got our little house halfway built here. We got the garage. We got the storage area. A little bit of a roof. Got some kitchens, some uh, bedroom and bathroom. And then there's going to be a little bit of like a hangout and entertainment area here. Got a few survivors left. The last episode was pretty brutal. Um, just me and I think three or four others. We got the farm going as well. We got to water I th everything, I think. I was hoping it was going to rain, but um, we got all of them working on disposing of these bodies. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Survivor Lewis here. We still got to kit him out with something. I wonder if there's any cops or anything over here. We could maybe put some of that on for him, give him some armor and a leather jacket. He don't even need the armor. He was falling out without anything on. And that pool cue. Um, I think he also got like trampled by a bunch of zombies and he just blasted right through. So props to that guy. He's a beast. Next Rambo over here. I actually might name him like something cooler. All right. Um, not too much going on in all these bodies. I maybe eventually I'll like strap, uh, scrap all the uh, stuff for the leather and everything, but not super worried about it. Uh, let's give him a gray. There we go. All right, there we go. We got him decked out. Rambo Lewis here. Gave him a leather jacket, police thing, a beret, and uh, one other thing. Um, today we need to get some gasoline. So I'm thinking, on oh, room in here. We need these gas cans and we need to get them filled fast. Got five of them. There's really not much going on in here. I don't really want to sacrifice somebody else, so I think I might just go at it alone. Maybe I can even find another vehicle and uh, work on that from there. I'm trying to think of some other good ideas, but I just know there's a lot of zombies in the area. So hopefully my axe holds up as well because my axe is almost broken. But we're going to see how it goes. A couple boys over here. I think I might use up this knife. Uh oh, where's my knife? I was just using it. What happened? What the heck? Did it break or something? A little bit strange. The axe is nice and strong now, boys. I've been leveled up my uh, axe skill and my strength. There we go. Yeah, I really don't know where my knife went. That's kind of annoying. Anyways, well, we got the axe as long as it doesn't break. I had it in my sheath, but I guess it just doesn't want to be there anymore. Uh, I was wondering if maybe I could lure them all in one spot and then just kind of lose them. I don't want to deal with so many of them. Oh, that's right, boys. I found this pickup truck over here, and I found the key for it. I don't think it has any any uh, fuel, though. Okay, we got some friends over here, so we're going to take these guys all out. Come on, boys. Let's go. Ooh, that guy's got a knife. Maybe I can use that. Ooh, and a machete. Nice. All right. I'll take those. I want a machete. There we go. They're done. Oh, it's a bunch of yes. Ooh, woodcraft ones. Those are good. Ooh, there's a lot of guys in this place. A lot of boys. Try out my new machete. Oh yeah, my axe is almost down. That sucks. Right, let's close that up. Grab those. See if there's anything good over here. A trench knife. That's pretty sweet. All right, we'll take that. And the showing kit. We'll take the stuff out of there. Trench kit. Trench knife. That sounds really cool though. I did add a couple more. Um, mods for tools and not tools um like melee weapons and something else so i think some armor so we can armor up our team nothing in there let's check out what this looks like oh i'm in a peck 
Yeah, so it needs some gas, but if we get some gas, we'll be able to dry this. So that'll be pretty sweet. But we need to have a little smoky smoke real quick, too. Just walk right through them. Yeah, there's a ton of boys over there. Let's see if there's anything in here. Maybe a little bit of gasoline. Nothing in there. Siphon gasoline. Look at that. I like that. Take all these guys out. Nice. Those guys are all down for the guy. I like this little, uh, this little, uh, cookery. Is that what it is? A tactical cookery? Alright, now we can siphon some fuel out of this guy. Is it open? Okay. Let's see how much is in here. Where if we get like a full. Oh, we got one or two, I think. Definitely better than nothing, though. We can definitely fill up the truck up a little bit. Ooh, there's also a storage thing right there. A trailer. Let me mark that down. All right, there's the gas station. Let's uh, let's go in this little shed here. Take a little breather. Of course, it's not open. And maybe we'll have a snack. Ooh, there's a generator in here, too, boys. Look at that. All right. All right, we'll sit here. We will have a snack. I think I have, yeah, I have some soup here. I can eat that. We got, ooh, a large gas can. All right. We're fucking zooming now, boys. Okay, what about this shelf? Or is that, is that a shelf? Nope. Ooh, a bolt mold. And the gas generator. Actually, you know what? That generator, I can just bring right over to the gas station. Because I'm going to need one anyways. So if I can clear it out. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Get that truck over here too. Maybe you can cut down these trees so I can come through here instead of going through the roads. I don't see too many yet. I know there are so many over here. I bet you over here there's going to be a bunch. Oh yeah, there's definitely quite a few. I know last time I was shooting and that destroyed my uh, chances. This little farmer circus guy. Alright, there's a few of them down. Oh, there's another one. This is a red guy. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, good. It's just a scratch. All right, we're gonna bandage up. That was close. I don't really know how it grabbed me so quick, little bitch. You little shit. All right. Anyways, I wanted to grab that knife, and there it is. Oh, these are boaters. Okay. A little boater hat. Somebody over here having a snack. Excuse me, sir. No snacks. This one's ready to take it right in the butt. There we go. They are all down for the count. Alright, so now I want to get over there, grab that generator, and bring it this way. Okay, and we'll plop this down right there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Drop the generator. There we go. Add some fuel, all the fuel we got. And then we can connect it. Turn it on. Kill all these guys real quick. Turn it off. Looks like it's probably full then. Drop that, drop that. Unless I can get this into this bag. There we go. Now we are cooking. Ooh, are these just not? That's okay. We'll just go fill up the truck real quick. I think it might be because my guy might be overweight with the gas. Oh, boys, he's here. Father Gabriel. Father Gabriel. Oh, 
Oh, there he is, boys. He's here. There's his machete and all his stuff. Don't worry, my friend, you'll be loved to mist. Some cigarettes, we might need those. I know there's a lot of zombies right over here, so I think I should... Ooh, a vault for... Nice. And some ammo. I think I might actually grab them all before we move, because if we start moving, they're just going to attract so many of them, so... Might not be good. Ooh, nice. Another long blade level. Ooh, a bunch of snacks and stuff in here. Perfect timing. Alright. Tank is almost full. Let's see if it'll start. Oh, there it goes, boys. Look at it. Looks like it's in condition, too. Ooh, this thing's pretty quick. Nice. This right out front so we can load it up with all the loot. Let's go take out the Z's. We are getting a little sleepy, too, so we got to make this quick. Ooh, you know what, I might have to cut some of these trees down. Let's grab that split and axe that we got back here. There we go. Come on, boys. Come on. Be a really good idea if we could like, box this place in. Bring all these zombies coming. I want to clear enough out of them. Okay, right now it's looking pretty cool. There's a few down there, but they shouldn't bother. And this guy on. Oh, there's even a light. Look at that. So fuel from the gas pump. There we go. Oh, hi, boys. Okay, a couple of them. Yeah, it's going to make a little bit of noise. Oh, the boy got a little knife in his leg. Oh, double. Oh, that guy's getting pretty sleep. This axe is pretty good too. All that strength training is paid off. Let's have a little bit of a monsty real quick, so we're not croaking as bad. Right over here, we got a couple more down here. We'll take these guys out. Blink. Nice. Put this in the truck, and there we go. We are full, boys. Sweet. Turn that guy off. Turn this off, and we can head home. Nice. So that is a job well done. And we got a cool new truck. So even better. I know there's probably a shit ton of zombies over here too. Oh, there, there they are. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Alright. Probably head up here and then we'll make it right and head back to shop. Alright. Just about home with our new truck with all the fuel that we need. We can part the truck inside here. go the lights off and shut her down nice i think there might have been a few zombies that were following us so which kind of sucks but shouldn't be no problem to take them out yeah here they come let's uh use that where is it put that on there and we'll turn this off so now we can see what we're doing You need to find some more friends so they can guard other parts of the wall. There we go. Alright, now we'll head home and go to sleepy time. Alrighty boys, I started working on the roof a little bit more and realized I have to put the roof on for the sink to be plumbable. 
So we're going to get this guy set up and have our first sip out of our sink. Look at that. Fill our canteen with some water. And we'll have a little bit of a, a drink here. Nice. So we are off to a good start. We just got to finish up the base, finish up the roof. I used up all that. Oh, she's putting more out there. Sweet. I think there was a pile over here somewhere. So I might just grab that and finish up the roof real quick. Then we're not getting drenched. Oh, she was putting that pile right there. Okay, well, there is wood somewhere. There's two. <laughs> That's right. We got a lot of trees around. Um, there is something I want to do. I want to figure out what I can go and grab for electricity and get that moving so we get an oven in here. So I'm going to move all this stuff around and probably get some of that stuff ready. Let's see. Denise, I want to talk to you. Change your name to just Denise. There we go. Uh, let's see. Electrical. Almost level two. And we're going to need a screwdriver, which we should have a couple of. And we can use those other tools. And why don't we have another snack before we leave? Going to go to nearby houses and uh, do that. Oh, this is empty. All right. There we go. Got all those set up. How's the generator looking? 39% uh, of fuel conditions fine. Why don't we just grab one of these now? And uh, we will fuel that bad boy up. They're 100% sweet. All right. And then this should probably have a little bit left. Yep. Nice. We also want to find one of those. We got to go to like a, uh, one of those warehouses with all the loot. We keep that in there. This gun case, we'll take that out. Log on the satchels. These I'm just going to throw outside. The gun case I'll probably just put in the back. But yeah, we got to find like a warehouse so then we can grab some of those containers hopefully more racks this is a rack right here i have to set it up and also ooh, there's some food right there and also the barrels the big barrels from the fuel api mod because then we can set up a little bit of a bulk storage for gasoline it should be nice hold on to this stuff well, actually no, i'm gonna put these in here because i think i could use those for some recipes Actually, I'm just going to save it in here because I want to make like a little armory probably right out here. And I'll put the uh, wrapper in there. It'll look pretty cool. Be like a little prepper bunker. And then this stuff, I got to figure out what I can do with this. Because I can't grab two of them. Please. Oh, wait. Maybe I can. There we go. Yep. I got it. Okay. I just have to kind of finagle the system a little bit. Can I do it like this? No, okay, I gotta grab one first, but then I can come over here and set it all up. I wish this thing would go away. There we go. There we go. We got that set up. Nice. Looks nice. We'll take the truck out. This truck is pretty sweet. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna get cleaned up. I think I might take uh, Mr. Rambo out too. Where's he at? Uh oh. I hear some zombies eating. Uh oh. Who's this? Okay, this looks like a. Oh, that's a big woman. Go to sleep. I do want this cowboy hat right here. It looks pretty sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna find it first. Oh, actually, we could dismantle all these too. That's a good idea. Maybe, you know what? Let's call everybody over here. We'll get them all to put the bodies in the same spot. And then we can... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Come here, boys. Lewis, give order. Oh, corpses. Denise. Call. I should just call everybody because I think I'm going to have to change the corpse radius anyways. Uh, hey, corpse. Drop corpses. Okay. What is a zombie right here? So any watches we can find, we can just dismantle them all and hopefully get some electrical skill up. Order pile corpses. Order pile corpses. Alright, so they all work on that while I'm gone. 
And we can head over. We might have to stay the night somewhere because our fatigue's building up. A nice house right here. Let's check this out. And a little uh, shed, too. This little Dodge Ram. Nice. Get the old axe out. Ooh, he's a little bit weak right now. What's going on? There it goes. There's the good old slap. Let's dismantle that guy. Also, our uh, our scratch healed. Took the bandage off to change it, and it was already healed, so that is good, because that was a little bit worrying. That would have sucked. Because it kind of just got, like, cucked there. Alright, let's take this zombie out before he breaks anything. Alright, let's have a puff, and off to bed for us. Alrighty, boys. It's the fifth ward on the way. We got about ten minutes in game. I do want to see if I can get these guys to return to base before anything happens. All right, here they come, boys. Let's uh, light this up. Well, that didn't really do much. Um, we got our axe repaired a little bit. Uh, I think we actually might have even swapped with one of those guys. We found a couple new survivors, and we recruited them. I think one of them already had an axe. And then also we have a baseball bat as a backup. Hopefully these are going to be enough. I'm not sure how many zombies it's going to be. I think it's like 20 extra every night. So it's probably like 120 zombies. Let's see. Right now we didn't kill anything yet. We're at 150 or 1524. Let's see how that goes. We're out of ammo already. Oh shit. Go reload. I did grab all the boxes of shotgun ammo that we have to try to take these boys out. Oh, so far, so good. We just kind of have to train them around. Like playing COD zombies. Them right over the fence here, kind of bottleneck them. I took out a few right there. Maybe we'll have to make like some kind of killing area. Firing squad. Ooh, look at that guy's armor. You got some kind of vest there. Oh, they broke through. head on over here on this side so we're getting close i think take the rest out with the axe i'm thinking save some ammo probably gonna need it we have to get to the police station soon maybe some kind of army hors d'oeuvres reserves or something like that there we go boys nice quite a few we took down let's check our kill count 1524 1708 1709. <laughs> oh, a fiberglass arrow. That's pretty sweet. What else we got going on around here? We're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of cleaning and some looting. There's any watches or anything like that? We'll just force select that. 
Alrighty boys, we're back at the shop. We did a lot of work. Um, I just cleaned up to my inventory a little bit. I got some new weapons from some of those zombies. Tactical axe, machete, and knife. So those are all pretty cool. We got them all set up. Oop. We got one of them missing. This is the machete. Let's put the knife right there. There we go. Got that on a leg holster. We got the machete on the chest. We got the pistol, the shotgun, all that goodies. And we also got a tactical axe. That's a pretty sweet weapon. And, uh... Other than that, uh, we cleared everything out. We got to get a electrical book so we can train our skill. Carpentry is maxed out, which is pretty sweet. We uh, are almost done with the base. We need to get the doors on here. Then we need some metal sheets for that. And then the roof, uh, I guess you can't really tell. The roof, I think, yeah, there it is. Like right here is still open. And then the whole garage needs to basically be done. But this is what it's looking like so far. We got a little spot here just to chill. Uh, I'm going to probably put some books and stuff right there. Maybe even a pool table would be pretty cool. I did have an issue. I had this bookcase here, and I wasn't able to see the generators, which is kind of silly because I, I'm on the other side of the wall, but whatever. Um, this is the bathroom. We had to move this, but everything is plumb, so we can have a little drink. Let's actually fill our canteens. There we go. We need to put the other one on our bottle slot. I'm not sure why it wasn't there. Um, we also we had the bathroom here, but we moved it because uh, we want to make put the armor over here. This is a little bedroom so far. Of course, we had to have the monsties. All the lights work and everything. Um, we had a little closet here. Go. And then we just have a couch there. I'm going to probably move that over to the living area. And then we're going to put the armory right here. We just got a couple things so far. And then the kitchen didn't really change too much, I don't think. Um, in the garage here, we got this truck from... Uh, I think this is one that was in that front. It's still loaded full of stuff. We have to organize that. Actually, I'll take that because I can scrap that up. Um, can put a little cabinet here, some drinks and stuff like that for the garage. Got a couple of these guys up. There's a watch somewhere that's going off. Um, some storage on the way up. Still have these bags because I just have so much stuff I need to sort through. And then some stuff over here for mechanics. And we got our pickup here, which is uh, in pristine condition. We had them dropping off some logs. 37, nice, awesome. Uh, we also, if you see up top, we got this mod to show how many days we've survived, which is a little bit nicer than this guy down here because sometimes it's like weird. Uh, you survive for one month and 14 days, so um, I'd rather not have to do the math. It takes too much work. Um, this truck, I think, has got a lot of random stuff in it that I need to work on clearing out as well. I don't think I have any books for the... Ooh, Ooh that's actually really good. I forgot I had that. Um, for the uh, electrics, electronics. So we're going to have to probably go find that. Um, and then we got our boy Rambo here, Rambo Lewis. And I don't think there's anything else going on in the area. We put a door here so we get in and out, and a door here for the farm. Um, probably going to put another gate on each side, oops, in the corners here, top left and top right, and then down here just so we have some entries and exits, especially if we do the horde or anything like that. Uh, this is one of our new survivors, Douglas. He's been chopping the wood. And yeah, pretty good so far. Our guy's getting tired, so I think we're going to hit the hay. And then tomorrow we're going to work on organizing again. And we got to go grab that electric book. So we are over here towards the laundry area. Um, towards the southeast of the town. We are taking a look at some of these areas. There's a laundromat here. And oh, wow. Vehicles. Vehicles croaking. Um, and the pharmacist as well. Uh-oh. Something's going on here, boys. I think my controls are back. Yeah, whoa, what happened, boys? The controls are messed up. I think this, this vehicle is a little bit bugged, boys. Uh-oh. Alrighty, boys, we finally got everything figured out. I don't know what was going on, but we got it all fixed up. Get cut some zombies. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, not another. Get out of there, get out of there. No, get out of there. I got your back. Oh, any boys of this big fucker. All right, heal her up. Go check. Okay, good. She's bandaged. Whew, that's close. What do we got going on here? Ooh, some beta blockers. We'll take that. There's a doll. Oh, we'll take that. Maybe cool decoration. There's some headphones. And yeah, that's it. What's this? Oh, there's a pistol in there. Sweet. Oh, a Springfield. Nice. It's a new, I think it's part of Britta's. What's this guy got? It's a, oh, it's, it's a Starbucks. That's so cool. Is a camera and a coffee cup. That's pretty sweet. Cool little uh, little decoration there. All right. 
Finally got the base working too, so we can finally start decorating a little bit. Daddy and the boy family movers. That's a little bit strange. That's locked as well. We could always bust those down and take those windows out eventually. Oh, there goes the car alarm. Maybe we should get out of here, boys. Oh, look at the glass on that. That looks cool. What this one? Some bandages, matches. Take all this stuff. Oh, there goes that stupid thing again. I'm keying this one. What about uh, the trunk? Nothing. All right. Ooh, there we go, we got a key right there, and an MRE, we'll take that. Hatches, any gas in here? No gas, but it's very similar to our truck. Oh, here comes all the boys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, boys, come on, get in, get in, get in. <gasps> no, Rambo, Lewis, no! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, no, he's not gonna make it. Rambo, Lewis, no! Oh, get in. Lindsay, get in, you dumb bitch. You then I'm gonna leave you here. Oh, she's in it. She don't got a clue. Oh, there she goes. Try to save her, but she's just. Oh, she's still kind of alive. There, I'm getting him out of the way, but I don't know what she's doing. I'm getting out of here, boys. Sorry, but they uh they don't wanna they don't wanna live, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm gonna hang out here until. These guys all clear up. I might actually just use defense to my advantage and take them out. Yeah, well, that kind of sucks that they're all being idiots. But I guess we'll uh, get some uh, kills in. We got this tactical axe now. Ooh, he's good. Ooh, I was gonna say almost all of them with a the one shot. This guy got a spear in him. Well, we lost Rambo Lewis, and we lost. Lindsay, but I'm sure we'll be able to take these guys out for him and get some of our revenge. Come on, boys. Come get some. Ooh, they're starting to the jog. Get out of here. Itch. There they come. All that yelling. Alright, let's go use the fence. Grab a little endurance while we're waiting. Make sure that stays topped up. Oh, come on. I'm trying to hit him on the ground and it's just kind of bugging out. Come on. I don't like how it doesn't uh, always hit the person in front of you. Oh, there she is. Ooh, this guy's got a brain in his hand. What it looks like, or one of those rotten meat chunks, tainted meat chunks. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, there she is. We took her out. Get out of here. Alright, those guys are all down. Let's uh, take a take a seat real quick. Get a little endurance back. Oh, here they come. They broke down the fence.
There they go. Down for the count. Nice. Let's dismantle all this stuff. Some beta blockers. Oh, we got a police officer on the way. Thank you. Yeah, maybe I'll head down this way and I'll grab that Hellcat. We'll head back to base because we're probably going to get tired soon. Uh, I guess we're going back base solo because everyone else ended up biting the dust, so it kind of sucks. There he is, boys. The Hellcat. Get this guy hooked up. Oh, it's a police one. I didn't know that. I didn't even know they had a police one. That's pretty sweet. All right, here we go, boys. They should have a little like chain or something there, a rope animation picture or a uh, texture for this. There's also this truck here, which looked really nice, but I want this Hellcat. That's the most important. This and the Mustang will fix up. I also realized I could put these uh, things here on the map, which makes it a lot nicer. Ooh, there's a barbecue right there. Um, put all the waypoints on the map so I can see them on the mini map while I'm driving and stuff. Hey guys, we got everything put away. We did a little exercise and, and relax. We have to put some of this away actually. My bad. Yeah, we still have everything kind of jambled up. Um, we're going to put some shelves in and I want to get those like military crates, but I'm not really sure how, so we're going to figure those out. Uh, we do need to make a run to the gun store eventually, which I wonder if that would be a good thing to do today. Uh, we don't have a truck. Oh, we do have this truck, but I don't really want to take it out because I want to get it ruined. We don't have any people to take with us. So let's take Douglas with us. Follow. I don't know where he's at, but we'll take him with us. We'll take the Mustang. I think we could probably do that. I want to see how much room that is in the trunk. That's going to be a caveat. Probably 100, 100 pounds. Oh, there's shelves in here. I should take these out before I go. And I also want to look at the condition of everything, too. Uh, Good enough, I guess. Maybe we'll go to the police station, because there's probably not as much loot there. And at least we can still grab some stuff. Also want to check on this. Generator info. 25% fuel. We should probably fill it up. Eventually, we'll probably start to repair that thing and that should help with our electrical as well i think oh we also have angus too he's been around for a long time i don't want to bring anybody out because they're just gonna keep dying i think it mainly comes down to them just kind of being being weird um let's have a bite to eat before we go out and then we'll head to probably the police station would be a good idea let's uh i made a bunch of food in here and i put some of these mres in here they were kind of easy to eat We'll eat all those. There we go. Okay. We really got to get that electrical loaded up too. We're at two, almost three. Oh, I think three is the one we get to move everything around. Sweet. Where is uh Douglas? Douglas, where you at? Uh, I thought there was something somewhere that you can show the survive. Oh, there we go up top. Douglas, so he's all the way out there. All right, we'll go pick him up. Oh, the battery on this guy ain't doing so good, but we should be all right. Oh, he's fucking zooming, boys. Let's uh, puff a smoky, and then we'll head over to the police station. Oh, damn it. Might be this purple one down here. Yep, there it is. So we got quite a few boys to take out. Douglas, get over here. Don't be screwing her off. Oh my god. Really? Well. I guess we can't take nobody with us, boys. Well, I guess... He's a distraction? Come on, bitches. Is he stuck? No, he's gonna die. Oh, come on, really? Did I really just get freaking my shit ripped up? Okay, maybe I didn't, but either way, like, I tried to hit that bitch. The aiming on this. I can't wait for this game to have more updates and, uh, features and fixes and all kinds of cool stuff. Ooh. 
Ooh, a little axe. There we go. I want to grab this guy. And this axe. We'll dismantle those watches while we're here as well. Ooh, a beer can. Yeah, there he is, boys. Sorry, buddy. I should just left you to chop trees. All right, boys, let's hop into the police station. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, we got one cop. Nice. Ooh, a shotgun. Some keys. Got some more boys on the way. Come on, get out of here, bitch. All right, another key. Ooh, we'll probably get some walkie-talkies and stuff. What else? Anything else here? Some bulletproof vests. We'll take those. Hoping there's some good stuff in the armory. This little doodle, huh? I think I'm going to take out the machete for this area. Because it's a little closer quarters. This is much faster. Awful lot of keys. Oh, hi, boys. Okay, they're all down. Another shotgun. Got a key. It's so nice being able to lock this uh, thing to that. Ooh, coyote tactical boots. Ooh, some mechanics gloves. That's pretty sweet. Jacket. It's nice to see some new items. Uh, yeah, I want to put those mechanic gloves on. Oh, minus 15. What do you mean? Why would they be minus 15? Where? Oh, they just don't add any kind of any kind of protection. Oh, they don't even have a. Do they? I, I can't, can't really tell. They look really cool though. Ooh, there we go, boys. Get the lockers. Oh wait, look at all this goodies. Dismantle that. I'm probably gonna end up taking a lot of this gear too. Nothing over here, and I probably want to take these lockers too eventually. I think I'm just going to grab this duffel bag and stuff everything into here. Alright, boys, this should be the, the goose. The goose. The good loots. Oh, it's all open, too. Alright. Oh, there's really not much in here, but there's a safe, so that's pretty sweet. The lock 17 mag, an ammo canister. That's good to see again. I haven't seen one of those forever. What else we got going on? Lots of tools, and brushes, and stuff. How do I. Oh, I think this doesn't have anything in it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this doesn't have anything oh we definitely got a couple things not as much as i was hoping for but i don't want the stapler i'll take all this ammo i want to take these cages too take all this stuff and that's it wow well, that was kind of underwhelming um that sucks there's nothing that's safe it's just kind of for looks so i'm gonna pick up all this i gonna pick up those lockers too head back and drop all this stuff off we also have the microwave we can oh we have a microwave at home we could have been cooking stuff in. i didn't even realize that i don't know if it's it's the same or not it's the same quality there we go out here bitch let's pop out this guy slice him with that get that level up a little bit I want to go grab all those lockers, too. Let me do that real quick. Maybe even some of these benches. These are pretty cool. And we'll head back to shop. We can dump everything off. All right, boys. Well, we made it back. We also have the campfire. That's mainly what we usually what we use to uh, cook up the food. Now, why don't we park this inside? I want to get the Hellcat fixed up and park that inside, too. There we go. Sweet. That's looking pretty nice so far, guys. What do you think? We can get all this stuff organized. Do that real quick. See how much I can grab at once. Sweet boys. So we just got done doing a lot of work in here. We got a new armory set up. We got to get some guns laid down. But first we got some uh, pistols and such. And some overstock for that stuff. Oh, I need to actually move these over. These go over here. All right. So we got uh, extra storage here. I'm not sure we can go in there yet. We got pistols. 
we have some of our gear for cleaning, some ammo stuff, some magazines and parts. Uh, we have just some accessories. We have rifles and shotguns, and then more rifles and shotguns, and then a couple little decorations here and there. Got ammo in both of these guys. We got our duffel bag with bags. This duffel bag has all kinds of like gear things, equipment, and then military stuff, and then just the rest of all this stuff. Oh, there's some military stuff we can put into the other one. Oh, that guy was doing a little break dance, and what was he doing? Dismantle this guy. Um, we tried to pick up that water fountain, not the water fountain, the yeah, the water fountain, but it freaking broke, which kind of sucks. But we'll find another one somewhere. Uh, we didn't find any books yet, so we also have to find a book. So hopefully, we can find that for the uh, mechanics. Let's see, if we got anything else in these guys? Nail gun, magazine, molded mask, repaired paint tank. Can I refill my? Oh, I can. That's awesome. Just take all this stuff. Oh, Angus, what's going on, buddy? Angus, no. Angus, no, get out of there. Why were you just trying to get into the building, you idiot? Oh my goodness, Angus, you freaking idiot. See, these guys aren't too smart. They like to get themselves killed. Alrighty, boys, it's just about that time, getting ready for the apocalypse. I want to see if I can make a campfire kit here, and I'll just use that to kill the zombies. That'd be pretty sweet. I don't know how well it's going to work with the uh, with the rain, though, which kind of sucks, so I guess we'll give it a shot. Should I know if I can start it, to be honest with you guys? Uh, I don't have any fuel. I don't know if this will do anything. Can I get a gun loaded up? Campfire add fuel tree branch? Okay. And let's see if we can light this boy. I don't see a light button. Yeah. So maybe we do need to uh, get some more fuel. Look at this guy. Oh, Mr. Businessman, how you doing? We oh, yeah, got the machete out. Ooh, there's a... Nice firefighter there. Alright, boys, here they are. They're already here. Time to go to work. Put the welder mask on just for a little extra. Ooh, look at this guy. We need to find somewhere where we can bottleneck them. Another fence. So here's this fence. Oh, look at them, boys. Here they come. Machete, I think, is doing a lot better than the axes. It's much quicker. And the strength is good, too. It's not a detriment. The strength. The damage, rather. Yeah, this machete's fucking rocking. I don't even know how much uh, level I have in this thing, but it's doing the job. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at this, you got a freaking, what is that, Jason? Was that Freddy? I always get them confused. Well, at least make it a challenge for me. Ooh, a tactical tomahawk, I'll take that. I want to grab that mask real quick. This and that, that's fucking awesome. Take the gloves. It's pretty sweet. Ooh, a deagle too. Get out of here. Nice. Well, that's pretty. Really, that's really cool. I think that's part of the uh, authentic Z. That watch. Might as well loot while we're waiting for the rest of these guys. Come on, boys. Where's everyone at? Here's some people over here in the, the trees. Can't wait to be getting uh, some like 
assault rifles and stuff and just plowing through these guys. Yeah, here they come. A little yell did it. They even loaded up on ammo for this fight. A spear with a scalpel? <laughs> it's pretty funny. There we go. Let's grab... Ooh, a dehydrated meat stick. Nice. Grab all that. Grab this stuff. Oh, there's a couple over here. Come on, boys. Came out here to play. Nobody want to play? Oh, yeah, there's a few here. Nothing we can handle. Oh, wow. This machete is nice. I got to keep this thing. I wonder how this stacks up to the katana. The kind of katana probably has much better range. But dang, this thing is nice. Oh my god, is that a Santa Claus? What the hell? I want to keep these guys out of the road. Oh, that was a close one. You tried grabbing me, little bitch. Why are there so many nakeds? This guy got one of those little foil hats. <laughs> Santa Claus! Should get some mannequins in our house and uh, set up little things for everyone. Santa Claus, there's, I know there's uh, Jason's, there's uh, a bunny. There's, uh, there's all those cooks. There's a lot of these baseball players, too. Let's get these guys back out of the road. Yeah. Bang! They're all down for the count. Let's, uh, have a little seat here. There we go. We'll regain a little bit of fatigue. We got another friend over here. Has he got a knife in his? Oh, it's just on his holster. He had a knife in his leg. Oh, hi, boys. Ooh, firefighter. Oh, there was another um, firefighter somewhere, too. I forget where he went. I'll have to find him. Hopefully, we didn't um, do anything to his gear. Wow, we are just freaking giga chat right now in here uh radio a couple other things take all this stuff it's a wrench oh, we need some extra room well boys i think that's just about it for the horde i think we got these last couple here and we'll head back to shop Ooh, Ooh and some ammo whoa 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 get out of here i wonder if i could drive over that campfire or i'm gonna get stuck or something I know sometimes driving over the bodies, you kind of start to wobble around. Alrighty, boys. Oh, we got a small little hoarder over here. We'll take them out. A little group. Hey, where happened to all your friends there, buddy? Oh, with a backhand. Alright, boys. It looks like that's it. We killed them all. Another week survived. Sweet. So I guess now we're going to head back to shop, deposit all of our juicy loot. Um, I, do, I did finish the roof, which is pretty cool. Um, let me just get back there real quick and I'll show you guys. All right, we're back. We got the roof all finished on this place. We got Angus here defending. Let me check the generator real quick. Uh, generate info, 49% on fuel. We're going to have to repair that thing soon. Um, we have found this y Yvonne woman recently over in that spot right by the house where they found the last, uh, I think maybe Ethan too. We put up these vending machines with all their goodies, the candy and the soda. Um, we're going to have to put up the stove there soon and then we can also load this up with all the goods in here as well so i'm gonna work on all that do a little bit of uh display work uh maybe we'll tend to the farm a little bit it looks like it's a little rowdy and uh get ready for the next week next ward we can finally put these garage doors up and these windows as well so i think we're gonna take care of that it's episode seven we got a lot of work that we got done we got a little bit of a platform here we got some little uh driveways for the vehicles we picked up this trailer we worked on a little bit of a border around the house as well as the farm is blossoming. 
somebody left the gate open, of course. Uh, we moved some of this around. We forgot to pick up our grill, so we went and grabbed that. Uh, the only thing we didn't move was the compost bin because it was full stuff and I didn't want to lose any of it. All right, and then we head inside. We got most of the armory is uh, coming along nicely. We got a couple little decorations here and there. We got the ammo press as well. Uh, we found this cool Jason mask and a couple other things. Uh, we put some vending machines inside. We got our stove working finally we also expanded over here we made a little pantry i might even add a little door or something uh, we have all of our fish in these guys and all of our farming in these and then this is just some extra stuff we picked up over the time and then all of our cans are now in one spot instead of that little spot in the cubby in the corner we finally got the sink working for whatever reason it just was really bugging out i just kind of messed with it for a while um had to like tear down the walls put walls down it was a whole fiasco but i got it working which is great um, we got one more plushie on the bed there. A little, um, I think what he is. Let's see what he is. An anteater? Uh, let's see. Molly the Mole. All right. And then the bathroom. Nothing really going on out here yet. Uh, we got all of our stuff in the duffel bag here. We picked up our Hellcat, which we're going to work on fixing up. Show you the skills here. We got a lot of them leveled up quite well. Um, I don't know really much about masonry, so I'm not sure if we're going to use that one at all. But uh, tailoring, we were doing a lot of... Ooh, somebody's coming in and out. Yeah, hey, but what's up, man? Um, mechanics, we were leveling that guy up a lot. We got to find the book for tailoring. Actually, I might have it. Um, carpentry has been maxed out for a while. We got cooking leveled up and first aid. Uh, and then farming. Not first aid, I'm sorry. Farming is leveled up there as well. We do have to find the book for the tailoring. And then also I want to get electrical up a little bit more. We've got this guy plumbed up. Got our fishing bag here. Uh, got Katrina hanging out. I redid this a little bit. I think the goal is to mainly put some of them green crates down. I think they're military ones. And then maybe a shelf or two. I would like the look of these shelves. But unfortunately they're not really very like dense for storage. I guess some propane tanks and stuff over here. All kinds of car parts. This guy right here is one of these cool mods. It's called Plus Storage. And you can make these little things. So there should be easy to make. And you can increase the storage for like things that like I don't really feel like making 80 bins for. I'm just going to throw it all in one. Um, and then we also got this guy put down for our fuel. We got almost a thousand fuel in there. And I think that's pretty much it so far. We basically dumped all the gas cans in there. Oh, we also got this really cool stalker outfit here. I'll take a look. Oh, it's as far as I can zoom in. But yeah, it's really good. It's good good strength, durability. Um, I got all the patches on it as well. So it's all decked out, ready to go. Uh, once I level up Taylor a little bit more, I'm going to redo all the patches because it gives you a little bit of a better better feat. A little bit extra defense. Uh, we did lose a couple of our team members again. They do not like to survive too well. So, Alright, so it's uh, the day 44. We have a horde in a few days. Not sure what I want to do yet. I definitely want to go adventuring for some guns and maybe there's military crates. So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I will definitely going to have to sleep first. Maybe I'll grab one of these survivors here, deck them out, and we'll head out. All right, boys, let me show you where I'm thinking. Right down the road. It's actually not too far. Head out this way down here, down here, and right over here. There should be a gun shop. So I think we're going to head there. And next on our list is probably going to be up here somewhere. I think there is a crate warehouse or something like that maybe it's up here uh we'll probably need a lot of those supplies as well so we'll head to the gun shop see what's going on after that hopefully we get some goodies maybe we'll head up to the next spot pretty boys we're arriving here we got twiggies and the gun shop this could be pretty sweet only caveat is uh we are a little bit fatigued from all the exercising we've been doing uh, so we have to be careful with that we're gonna turn this on make sure we have some light and let's head on in boys Unbarricade this thing. Oh, it's even open. Look at that. All right. Now we have to take this out, but luckily we have a nice sledgehammer. Bang. There we go. It'd be cool if like an alarm went off every time. All right. Let's see what we got, boys. Glow sticks. It's interesting. I think that's from an authentic Z. Let's like that. Oh, we got some armor, some ammo. Sweet. Hex out with some kind of gear, a recoil pad, or a helmet. Nice ammo, ammo, ammo. Nice, lots of ammo. I might even take some of these uh, lockers as well. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Nice. Oh, boys, look at all the goods. MP5, FAL, survival knife. Oh, I'm so glad we bought that uh, trailer. 
We are going to be loaded. Tons and tons of loot, boys. Hell yeah. What else we got? Ooh, an Uzi. Ooh, a reinforced baseball bat. This kind of looks like an Egan's bat. Spaz 12. Sweet. Ooh, an Anaconda. That's pretty sweet. And there's a lot of body armor, too. What's back here? Oh, it's just a bathroom. Okay. Have a sip out of the toilet. It's always good. We're about in here. We got some loot. Oh, yeah. A long sword. Shit. That's so cool. Lots of guns, all kinds of different parts. We'll take all that. Oh, yeah. All right, boys. I think we looted everything up. Nice. We got tons of guns. We have a lot of stuff to play around with. Ooh, a nice energy drink. A lot of stuff to play around with for the next ward. Even kid out some of the boys. Let's pop all this stuff in here real quick. Well, while we're here, we'll also check out Twiggies. See what they got going on. Probably some alcohol and stuff. Nobody here? Wow. I do want to take some of these stuff, though. Full table. And uh, how much does this weigh? 40? Oh, only 20 take all this stuff see if they got all the goodies in here ah just a lot of books that's a little bit odd i guess we'll probably take some of them we'll probably need them oh, looks like there's not a single drop of alcohol here a lot of these bottles just for the decoration but all right boys so sorry about the uh weird looking screen i don't know why my stream labs just kind of got bug bugged out uh but instead of going up there i think we're actually going to head over here there's a vehicle i left here a gas station and I think these are a storage spot and a, like a little warehouse. So I think we'll head over here instead and uh, see what kind of good loot we can get. Hopefully good loot. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Z's here, too. Is that? Oh, there's a bunny. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a challenger right there. That's why I marked that. That's right. Uh, we got a little storage area and some uh, like unit storage units as well. So let's take a peek out here. See what we can find. Hi, boys. Oh, shit. That boy is fucking popping off. Well, that's one way to do it. Hopefully that gun will protect him. Gave him a gun that has uh, 15 rounds, so he should hopefully have a little bit more leeway with that. But it doesn't look like the gun's very quiet. So let's have a couple shots. Got you, buddy. Got your back. Got to reload why he's... Uh... Oh, yeah, here they come, boys. Oh, look at that bunny. That's so cool. Oh, here they come, boys. Get him. Get him. What are you doing? Don't let him bite you. Why is that not hitting him? There we go. All right, reload again, boys. I don't know why that menu keeps popping up. Oh, he's... Happen them boys. Holy shit. Anybody else in the area? Actually, let's turn this off. I forgot to extinguish that. At least our aiming is doing a lot better. Pistol whip, pistol whip. There we go, boys. Make sure we pick up all of our- ooh, there's a gun right there. Make sure we pick up all of our shells off the ground. There we go. Alright, while he is killing everybody, I'm gonna load this up. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's he doing? Just standing there. Come on, come on, reload. I don't know why he's just standing there. Oh, come on, dude. No. Yeah, he just stood there. Why is he reloading? Oh, he's got some health, too, because all that armor. God damn it. Well, there goes another one of our boys. Whatever reason, they don't like to live. Ooh, this one's got another generator. I right, just popped on the car. We keep it, uh, keep it on standby in case we need it. Oh, I just needed the fence with the uh, generator in my hand. Wow, what a chat! We got another generator. Holy shit! Another generator, boys. Holy shit! Baseball bat, needle, thread, tennis rackets. 
suit up all my survivors with tennis rackets. Tennis racket horde. Oh, another generator. Holy shit. I like dismantle it. Oh, look at this guy. He's cool looking. He's got a nice looking bag, too. What is that? I guess we're gonna find out. It's like a military. Bring camo Alice Pat 45. That's not as good as ours, but I wonder if we can upgrade it. Hazmat suit is pretty cool too. It looks like he's just drawing all the uh the zombies down. Oh, what's he got? Is it an axe? Over here, boys. I wanna have some fun. Use a crowbar a little bit. It should help with the maintenance skill as well. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's one of the newer looking ones too. Yeah, I wonder what the helicopter's doing. If he's just shooting people or if he's just being a scum leading them all over the place or if he's dropping off loot again like the one time. Oh, this guy's got a gun chilling. All right. Ooh, a bodyguard 380. See what we got going on with these vehicles. I don't think this one's uh got anything to it left. I think I can dismantle it though for some uh, mechanic. Yeah, there we go. Or some uh not mechanic, metal working skill. Oh, this one's still alive. Holy shit. Ooh, a gun case, a flare gun. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't know they had the flare gun. All right, boys, it's the next morning. We got everything organized. We got our washer and dryer set up. It's 420. Um, I do want to maybe do a little building for a little shed or something for all these barrels and generators that I have accumulated. Just grab a bunch of these planks. We also upgraded this bag. It's the same, same, uh, capacity as the other one, but just looks a little bit cooler. So we got that. I think that's all we're going to need, I think. Yeah, and we'll, uh, set up like a little, little bit of a, uh, shed or something, I'm thinking. Yeah, you got all these things here. Generators. I was thinking about putting it down here, but it's kind of far. I think maybe also putting it up here. Maybe I'll put it right over here. All right, boys, here they come. Let's get this guy lit up. We've made sure we fill it up as well before the horde. Got all the boys ready. Let's see. Here they come. Hopefully, I can get them aggroed on me, and these guys can just uh, take them out. Because I don't want them to end up getting us. Um, end up getting. A little, a little bit of a brain fart there. Um, I don't want them to end up killing all of our guys. Again, like they usually do. So we have some over there. I want to see if maybe I can just train them around and then the, the people will take care of them for me. So let's uh, let's see if I can just get everyone's attention. So far, so good. Yeah, there we go. Now they're shooting. We just have to make sure we pay attention to any people that are coming in. And make sure they stay on us. Oh, this guy's got some stuff on him. Oh, this guy's got a ghillie suit. Oh, two ghillie suits. That's awesome. Oh yeah, boys, they're starting to pile up now. Come on, boys, stay after me. Stay after me. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Luckily, our uh, gear took that in. Oh, man, they're starting to they're starting to flock, boys. I wasn't paying attention. They almost got me. Oh, you're looking at them all up here. Let's uh, get a shotgun out, maybe. Oh, no, they're going down, boys. Oh, man. I knew that was going to happen pretty quickly, but I didn't think it was going to be that fast. We're just going to have to uh, train him again. Oh, they're running. They're running, but I don't know if they're going to make it. You know, I think this might be time for the MP5. Oh, what the hell? Where'd that bitch come from? It's just a laceration, so it should be good. But I don't know where she came from. Maybe I ran right into her. I want to equip this in both hands. And I want to get these guys. Oh, look at them all. Holy shit. Yeah, they're all 
having snacks right here. All right, let's, let's hang out here and start uh, dropping them. Let them out, boys. Let them out. Oh, my God. We're out of ammo already. I think I had a few mags for this, but not too many. Oh, no. She's down. Let him out, boys. Let him out. And we have one mag left, maybe. Gun's actually not that bad. I don't know if I have any more magazines left. Yeah, I think we just have to load them in by hand. I'm just kind of train him around while we're doing that. Yeah. Dang, this mag goes fast. We need like a drum mag. How's your guy doing? Hopefully he's alright. Be able to sneak around here. Load up that mag. Get a little, uh, get a little distance between us and the zombies. And, uh, do some more popping. Ooh, at least we got another skill in aiming. How's our skills looking so far? Ah, uh, we got five aiming and three and a half in reloading. Ooh, look at this guy. He's kitted. Nice bag, too. I like that one. Maybe I'll replace my... Oh, that's like the desert one, I think. The only thing I like about mine is it's like grayed here, which looks really weird. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll try the shotgun. The shotgun might have a little bit more damage because of the spread. What's going on over here, boys? These guys are like, oh, oh, Blart, you're still alive. Holy shit. Come on, Blart, let's take him out. Blart, keep running, boys. Get out of here. I don't like how, like, they're highlighted right in front of me, but they don't get shot. Oh, no. Yeah, there, Blart, come on. Come on, we're gonna make it. At least we had a bunch of shotgun shells this time. Blart, how you doing down there, bud? I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's still shooting, boys. He's not going down without a fight. Oh, we got a couple more cycles and we should be done. Out of here, bitch. Oh, we got a lot of a lot of crawlers today. Come on, Blart, let's take him out. Blart, is that it? Did we did we survive? Just you and me? Holy shit. What a freaking horror night, boys. Look at the aftermath of that one. I think that first uh 
maybe like it was like the third one. That one was really bad. This one wasn't horrible, but we did lose two guys. Blart survived. Blart, come here, buddy. Oh, he's okay. Sweet. All right, how are we looking? We're still bandaged. We're doing okay. Let's have a quick smoke break, and uh, that's going to end off the episode. It's almost 50 days so far, boys. We're doing pretty good. We lost a lot of people, but uh, for a good cause, we're making good sacrifices. Um, so, yeah, I think I might do some kind of little shootout area for them so they can kind of be protected. Maybe, like, um, make, like, a bullseye type of target and have them right in the middle and bullseye be the walls so they have to go through multiple walls to get to them. Um, hopefully something, I get them to work so they stop dying, but... Just filling up our Mustang, filling up the generator with some fuel. We are going to go on a little road trip today. Hopefully get some extra supplies, some extra guns, ammos, all the goodies, and maybe even some new weapons would be pretty sweet. Uh, we're not really going to bring too much supplies. I don't think there's anything really in the car, but we're going to leave everybody here to protect the place, and we are going to head out. Uh, let's see. Just going to find out where we want to go. So we're all the way over here. We could go to any of the other cities, which would probably be quite the trip. What about... Huh. Oh, you know what? You know, why don't we go out here to the cities? Oh, someone was just screaming. Uh, we've been over here a few times. I know there's some, like, stores here, but that's so close. I kind of want to go a little bit further than that today. Um, let me pull up the map real quick, because maybe we'll come over here. All right, so I think we are going to go over here to this town, Muldrow. Um, there is a warehouse right here and a couple other spots that we might want to hit up. And we also might spend a few days there if we need to. We'll also come back for the generator, which will kind of suck. But um, there is going to be hopefully some military stuff that we can snag. So we'll try to just spend a day or so there, not too long, and uh, go from there, grab as much loot as we can. And then we'll haul it all back. If we can find a trailer or something, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, we'll meet you guys when we get there. Well, boys, we might have to go on foot from here. Or at least clear some of these vehicles. And first, we have to clear some Z's. Take these guys all out. There we go, boys. Holy shit, that was quite a few. And we got more on the way. Ooh, boys, there's an RV. That would be really nice. The only thing is, there's a lot of zombies here. And that's a lot. Ooh, that guy's got something on him. Looks like maybe a shovel. Alright, boys, we're just about here, I think. And it sucks there are quite a few zombies here. Yeah, I think the warehouse is right over here. Ooh, there's even a bus. So, yeah, we're going to spend a lot of time fighting. Oh, yeah. All right, boys, well, why don't we have a little snack and get to work? Oh, all my food's in there. Shit. Oh, look at this guy. He's decked out. All right, we gotta come back for that stuff. Yeah, we are gonna have to find a way to... Take these guys out. Maybe a fire or something. If I can kind of bottleneck them into maybe that fence right there and get away from them. Light it, boys. Light it, boys. Light it, boys. Oh, we just missed it. Shit. Thought we had it. That guy's getting a little bit tired. All right. Looks like it's clear. Come on, light, 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 light. Yeah, there we go. All right, boys, come on in. The water's fine. Oh, wait, look at them all catching. Oh, yeah. There we go, boys. Get them nice and cooked up. We're going to have a nice zombie feast tonight. Oh, my God. The fucking computer's going to catch on fire after all these guys. Wow, look at that. I can't even turn around. There's so many of them. Zombie BBQ. So anyways, I started firing. With fire. Alright, boys. Well, the majority of the zombies are dead. Now we just gotta...
drop everything off. Maybe we could get this bus. That would be sweet and tow that to the Mustang back. And then uh, we can uh, start looting a little bit. Relax a little bit. Give our guy a break. Oh, look at that, boys. Got it right up. Ooh, and it started up. Shit. Not too bad. I wonder how much storage is in this thing. Ooh, the brakes aren't doing so good. Let's, uh, let's take a peek at the hood. Ah, uh, could be better. Battery's good. The engine's not doing so good. We'll have to repair that. Need some engine parts and a wrench. Let's check the uh, the trunk. The, uh, the back, anyways. It's got, oh, wow, 156. That's horrible. All right, boys, come on. You can have your turn. Oh, shoo. Do the 360 no scoop. Alright, now it looks like I got everything. Alright, boys, we're gonna load this guy up and we should be able to tow one of these. I'm not sure if it's gonna be easier in one way or the other, but I guess we'll figure that part out. Load this all up. Almost to the brim. The only thing we got left is our soup. I wanna see if maybe I could tow the trailer with the Mustang because I think the Mustang is a little bit more agile. And also in much better condition. But I think the power has a lot to do with the towing capabilities. And we get another friend over here as well. Give him a plunk. Oh my god, yeah, look, we're fucking zooming. Holy shit. We drive faster with the bus than we do without it. Oh, boys, on the way back, I forgot we got the RV right here, and uh, we found the key in one of the zombies, so we're going to be popping all this stuff into the RV and taking the RV instead of the prison bus. So basically, just going to work on doing all that real quick. Look at that, boys. It's so cool. All kinds of goodies in here. It's awesome. We can make a little mobile base or something. Oh, and all this stuff stays good because um of the car, too. It's so cool. How do I get out? Do I just walk this way? All right, boys, I actually just realized right here, there's like a trunk, and I can fit almost everything in here. It's got like 338 spots. I only have 310, and the rest of the stuff I just put inside. So that's pretty sweet. We also got this boy hooked up to the Mustang, and look how fast this thing goes, just like the other one. Shoo! Zooming around. Oh, yeah, boys. Alrighty, boys, it's another rainy day here in Zomboid land. Uh, we're going to have a little bit to eat and drink, and then we're going to head out, and I think we're going to prepare a little bit for the horde. I think we're going to make maybe a little bit of a, uh, like, a kill zone, like, kill corridor or something like that. Probably in town, just because it seems like there's more we can do if we get stuck. Um, or maybe we'll go ahead up above where we used to be as well. Uh, let's fill up our water as well. Alright, so I think I'm going to make some kind of, like, fence or something. Um, hmm. I figure that part out, and then we will get working on that. We have about a day and a half, probably. Alrighty, boys, it's just about 10 p.m. We made a little bit of a... Ooh, we got over here, Survivor Kirsty. You better get out of here, girly. Alright, here comes the zombies. We got a little bit of a base going. Let's get this generator on. We put a generator over here. We have so many, so might as well. Got hooked up with some lights. Uh, turn on. There we go. All right. Made basically just like a killing corridor uh, with some doors out the back so we can escape if we have to. And uh, hopefully this will slow them down. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty confident in it. And I try to rather gather up as many as we can and then just basically jump into it once we are ready. And uh, hopefully it works well. There's also a campfire I put here with some wood in case we need to burn some. And then a bunch of lights. So I'll just gather these guys up for a little while. Oh, it looks like they want to go over there already. Oh, oh, she's gonna die. Cause she didn't want to go home. She kind of just wanted to screw around. Well, shit. They love to kill themselves, I don't know why. So I'm over here shooting all these zombies, but there's still like so many dudes just sitting over here attacking the walls for whatever reason.
Yeah, so that kind of sucks. I guess that's not going to work very well because they just took out all the walls. Maybe we'll just have to make a bunch of fences. And maybe I can siphon through this house a little bit. Also brought out the uh, MP5. I'm going to use this guy. Because the shotgun's kind of getting annoying sometimes. You could shoot someone right in front of you and it just doesn't hit them even though it's higher than them. This one too, I guess. Let's see if I can get this fire on. There we go. Now we can have a little cookout. Santa Claus going down the wrong chimney. Yeah, you know, the aiming in this game is kind of getting repetitive and annoying because, like, a lot of the times you'll be killing people and you're just just targeting the wrong person or doesn't even hit him. It's kind of disappointing sometimes. It's rather quiet. Fire's still lit. Why don't we put that out so it doesn't uh, get wasted? Uh, let's see. Got fire. And I think I'm going to check out the houses because there might be some stragglers. I'm a little bit disappointed. They just attack this for no reason. Kind of sucks. They attacked all the walls and everything. They didn't even come after me, half of them. Yeah, nobody's in here. Sweet. Well, there we go, boys. That is the eighth ward down without, without any issues um the only gripe i have is the aiming it's just i haven't played in a little while and coming back and the aim is kind of annoying um so i don't know if there's any maybe mods that would fix that i think i do have a couple aiming mods on um they don't really seem to be working too well but um that and then um kind of sucks with their pathing and attacking the wall but other than that it was pretty well well rounded toward a lot of zombies and it was pretty easy hopefully we'll get some good loot so i'm gonna loot up everything now see if there's anything good Maybe some guns or something to ammo, that would be great. If not, we'll probably have to do an ammo run very shortly. Oh, uh, there's a uh, shooting range, a hunting lodge, cafe, hotel, a couple other things. And I think we're going to try to take this little town over here, clear it out, and uh, survive a few days here. And maybe even do the ward here if we can. Um, so let's hop back in. Yeah, there is a few zombies here already. For some reason, they knew exactly where I was, which is a little bit weird, but okay. Uh, let's see, anything good? School bag. Now, we didn't really bring much, just a little bit of food and stuff we ate before we left. And uh, we're going to see if we can try to find some good loot. Definitely want to hit that hunting lodge open, the shooting range and stuff, for some ammo and guns, hopefully. And uh, just survive a few days in this town here. And then make our way back. Hopefully, we can find a vehicle and everything and make our way back to the base. Maybe we'll stick out a horde here. I'm not sure yet. See how it goes. But yeah, we're just going to loot some of these houses. Um, it's, it's still morning time, so we should have plenty of time to do everything. There's some food here. We're definitely going to have to be a little bit easy on how much we grab because we don't have too much space. I think what I'm going to do is uh, get all the zombies in the same area here and just take them all out while I can. So they don't end up uh, sneaking up on us. So maybe we'll just do that real quick. Take all their goodies. Not too much. So now we have to worry about them all surrounding us or attacking us when we least expect it. I'm sure there'll probably be plenty more, but it's a cool, the straight shooter. Pretty cool looking place. 
a lot of beer. Maybe we'll have some of that. Ooh, a shotgun and a bunch of stuff. Nice. Some beer, bleach, peanut ch chips. All the goodies. The wine. We're going to end up filling up our inventory with uh, wine and beer. Not sure how we got a shotgun out of that, but I ain't complaining. That's pretty sweet. It's nice uh, scenery of this place, too. I like the wood. A little more classic and unique. Oh, there's a bunch of boys out here, too. Oh, I was hoping I could sneak behind this one. Alright, I'm going to take all these guys out. I want to level up this uh, crowbar a little bit more for maintenance, but... The uh, leveling isn't very fast. I think it's at two times. We killed quite a few zombies too. Not necessarily with the crowbar, but some of the other weapons. Oh, she's trying to get my feet. I guess this crowbar does take a little bit more since it's like a two-handed weapon. Whoa, what's this bitch doing? I was just standing on her. Get back down. Let's stay down. Let's take the seat and the... Uh, I guess we're not gonna do too much because she's coming. Ooh, there's a couple of them. Maybe we'll give him a couple blasts of the shotgun. I did install another aiming mod, so I'll have to see how that's doing. I don't want to be shooting a lot because I know we're going to end up attracting a lot. Oh yeah, just attracted all the zombies in the neighborhood with that shotgun. Ooh, there's a little hatch right there. That's right, we'll just uh, regain a little bit and then we'll kill them all. Oh wow, quite a few. Guns a blazing. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that was a uh, like a fancy motel. You know, I think I might kind of lose these guys so I can sit down and regain some of my uh, stamina. What's this bitch doing? Oh, look at these big boys. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh, boys. Whoa! Oh, no, boys. No. There it is. There it is. We were too tired. They got us. Shit. Two months, 22 days, 21 hours, 4580 zombies. And they got us. Look at us right there. I had a bad feeling about that. But yeah, they destroyed that metal door. I guess just on their own. And then that door, the wooden door was pretty quick. So and then they kind of just swarmed me. Well, boys, I guess we're not going uh, going adventuring today. <laughs> I think this was a cool mod to add more depth to the game. Uh, especially because there's not too much going on at the moment in terms of updates. There's some updates on the way, but they're still waiting for them. Like the NPCs, the uh, animals and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned. And we'll be checking some of that out. And uh, like and subscribe. Check out some other videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.